Dear friends, this is my tutorial 45 in Gaussian. So in this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to do DDEC6 atomic population under bond order analysis using Gaussian and charge mole software. Before going to do this calculation, we need to download this charge mole 09262017 software. So I will tell you where to download this one. So just go to Google, just search DDEC6 download, you will get this page search forge. So just you can click this first one. So you will direct to this page, there you can see a readme file and also charge mode 0926 2017.zip file just you can click it it will download automatically that's all so after that i will tell you what are the files here we can use for our calculations so if you click this one it will download Got to wait some seconds then it will start download so i already downloaded this is a 98 mp only it will first it will firstly download no problem so that's all now you, you can unzip this one you can copy paste it wherever you want that's all so i will close this one now so now I will tell you the one example that is O3. So before going to start uh, this calculation, first you need to optimize. So here I did the two types of calculation and ozone singlet and ozone triplet. I will explain here ozone singlet. You can also try your, yourself that ozone triplet state. So first we have to do the geometry optimization. So this is the input file for uh, geometry optimization. Before going to do uh, geometry optimization, we have to prepare our input file. So this is the our ozone singlet input files. Just I will show you this one with notepad plus plus this is the input file so first you have to mention percentage hk equal to ozone singlet pw91 dot chk this is the name of the system just i write so which theory i'm using just i mentioned pw91 mm, that's all then you have to mention memory 6mw and n pro share then also you have to mention theory pw91 pw91 then you have to mention general keywords for root section then you have to mention optimization and frequency then you have to mention uh, space then you have to mention name of the system then you have to give one space then you have to mention the total charges of the system the ozone charge here is zero the spin multiplicity is one this is actually single state so this is the cartesian coordinate of this um, this o3 molecule so then i have to give one space then you have to give the water that are present in the molecule here only o only present just i mentioned o Mm, then you have to give one space then you have to mention zero then you have to mention the what basis that you want to use for this calculation so i using this six three double one plus plus g double star basis set then you have to mention the four stars then you have to give four enter this four star means end of the input file so i will show you this file using a gas view so open your uh, gas view So just drag that input file so you will see ozone molecule this is the ozone molecule so this is the atom one so if you click this is the one this is the two this is the third number this is the atom one atom two atom three so i will tell you how to get later that bond order and mm, natural population charges from this charge mold calculation So then we have to submit this calculation in your uh, Gaussian Windows version. This is actually Windows version input. If you want to use uh, Linux version, you have to change accordingly the 
input file so here you have to change memory and also in pro chat that's all there is no change other thing this is the very important change and then you have to change this input file into dot com file this is actually dot gj file you have to change into dot cym file then only the linux will read it in, in, in input file so that's all this is that optimized the singlet ozone so this is the output file if you go down you will see the normal termination of gaussian 09 that means our calculation completed without any error so the first step we completed now what we have to do we have to take this optimized cartesian coordinate for wave function generation calculation that is the second important things so what you have to do just to open your uh, gauss view just you can track that output file you will get that optimized structure just to go to file you can click save then you can save your optimized cartesian coordinate to the uh, for our new wave function calculation so just i will make x file folder just you can save this one so this is the optimized cartesian coordinate of o3 molecule that's all so we have to use this cartesian coordinate for wave function calculations so i already did, did that wave function calculation using optimized cartesian coordinate this is the wave function calculation file so this is the input file so i will show you the input file for wave 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 function calculations so basically similar to the what we do for optimization but we are here the little changes is there so here you can see the percentage hk equal to ozone singlet bw91 hyphen wfn so we are going to generate wave 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 function file that's why i just mentioned the wfn then you have to mention memory 6mw and pro shared 2 and you have to mention theory and this is the general keyword for our uh, root section so here you have to mention density equal to current so output equal to wfx pop equal to no so you have to mention if you are using the singlet state calculation you have to mention these three things so if you are using that uh, triplet state calculation i will show you the input file for that one what you have to change here that's very important so then you have to give one space then you have to give the name of the calculation and uh, space then you have to mention the charge and the spin multiplicity is the optimized cartesian coordinate copy paste that coordinate from here you can use it for your wave function calculation then you have to give space then you have to mention what are the data present in the molecule then basis set and four stars end up the input files this then you have to give two space after this uh, four stars you give two space then mention this word ozone singlet pw91 dot wfx file so if you mention this year one you will get your wave function file in the scratch directory so you have to go to your scratch directory you have to get this ozone singlet w w wave function file so i will tell you where to get this one Mm, that's all our web function calculation input file is ready just you can close it this one then you can submit this calculation using your gaussian you will get your wave function file so after completion of your uh, gaussian 09 calculation just to go to your pc then you can go to your c drive then where you installed your uh, gaussian program go to the scratch directory if you go here you will get your uh, wave function file here so already i did that calculation goes on singlet pw1 and wfn dot chk sir what the mention name mentioned in that every input file it will print here so you will get this but this is the very important file you can copy this file put it into the wave function calculation folder that's all oh, sorry this is not that one so this is the one ozone singlet pw91 wfx file this one this is actually chk file sorry so you have to use this file for further uh, dd ec6 calculations so just you can copy this uh, file put into a um, wave function calculation folder 
that's all so now I will tell you so I copy pasted uh, that way function file here you can see ozone single pw91 wfx so now I will tell you how to do uh, this charge mole calculation the ddec6 calculation so here is the very important things you have to prepare some input important input files that is job control file this is the one important this is the another that uh, exe file this is the software to run the calculation to get your uh, bound order and atomic charge calculation so i will tell you how to prepare this job control file and where to get this charge mode file so after downloading your charge mode file this is the our downloaded extracted one so here you can uh, see atomic densities this is the one important file you have to you have to use your calculation so i will tell you where to use how to use this one then you have to see the um, that uh, exe file you have to get your exe file so so just go to the charge mode photon this folder you can see a uh, different kind of things you can see go to this one this compiled binaries you can see linux windows just click windows here you can see the different kind of things so here you can see uh, windows 32 bit parallel command line edition and exe don't use that one so i always use that serial command line if you are using 32 bit you can use this 32 bit if you are using 64 bit computer just you can this one okay this is uh, fine if you are using 32 bit version you can use this one if you are using 64 bit you can use this uh, serial one don't use for uh, parallel version this is the 32 bit is serial command line this is the 64 bit serial command line. so just you can uh, copy this file So I will remove these all files. So I will remove all the files. So what are the files we need? Here only we need job control file under that uh, ozone singlet pw and wave function file. So that software exe so charge mode this window 64 bit serial command line exe this is the very important so then uh, this is the already i told you wave function file so you have to copy this wave function file and paste it here so you can uh, remove old one just i will put it that uh, new one so this is the wave function file so this is a job control file this is the software to calculate the bond order and charge so now i will tell you the job control file this is the very important file so just you can double click it will open so here you can see periodicity along abc vectors so we are using that uh, a gaussian calculator it's the molecular level only just you have to mention abc all three things are false then you have to mention the atomic density directory complete path this is the very important so i already told you that uh, charge density files atomic density files so where is our atomic density file so just i i copy pasted that uh, ddec6 uh, folder this is the one you can extract that you can uh, copy paste wherever you want so this is the atomic densities so this is the very important just you can uh, click this one copy this path so paste it here i already pasted here so i pasted uh, here you can paste it 
so you see this is the very important uh, symbol you have to mention after atomic density otherwise your calculation cannot run so after uh, so after uh, pasting this uh, atomic uh, densities directory complete path you have to put this symbol so this is the very important then you have to save then you have to mention then you have to give space then you have to mention input to file name this is the ozone single pw91 wx5 wfx5 this is the our input file then you have to um, you have to give the same thing here then what types of calculation you want you have to mention the first we want only ddec6 so if, if you want to do ddec3 calculation you have to change into 6 into 3 that's all just you uh, you can use this is the dde6 is the best so then finally you have if you want to compute that uh, bond orders just you have to mention dot true dot that's all so this is the charge calculation this is the bond order calculation so this is the our input file just you can save it and close it so that's all so we have prepared our ddec6 input files job control file this we have copy pasted this uh, software this is the copy pasted our ozone single pw na wave function file so one more things i want to tell you so if you want to use the triple state calculation so that input file slightly different for wave function calculations so what you have to do everything same just you have to mention pop equal to n o a b so if you want to know more about how to prepare the input file for gaussian just you can visit that um, the document tutorial document so i will show you that one if you go to this charge you will get that instructions of this software just you can open this one so you can read it it will easy to read understand just you can follow this if you do not understand uh, from my tutorial so it's very easy only so here they have mentioned uh, similar different kind of things how to put for that uh, preparation of wasp uh, cc d6 file and gaussian and also c star cp2k also and also one tip so you can uh, read this document to understand the file preparation steps you can do it your calculations very easy only so in here i will show you only the gaussian so if you want to see more example just to go to that uh, charge mole file you can see the examples to run there are different kind of examples there for wasp and sista and also gaussian and cp2k just you can uh, run this calculation you can understand easily then you can use it for your research that's all so now we will run our calculation this is the very important step so this is the ozone singlet so we have copied our prepared everything just we have to run our calculation so this is the charge mode this is the software just we can uh, double click click more info run anyway so it will run so you, you have to give the path of this calculation just to copy this path control c so you, if you right click here it will paste automatically then you can click enter that's all our calculation will run it will finish within you know, 10 to 15 minutes after completion of this calculation this uh, terminal will will disappear so now we will go to our uh, calculation folder this is our calculation folder we can refresh so you can refresh you will see different kind of things 
so here the different file is there so very our file important file is this one the ddec6 the tempered bound order and the tempered net atomic charges first we will see the atomic charges first we will uh, i will show you that uh, molecule in gas view then only you can understand open your gas view just i will open input or output file to know the numbers so this is the o3 molecule this is the dde6 so first i will open the net atomic charges so this is the atomic charge calculation by dd ec6 method this is also the atomic charges only so if you go down you will see the detailed things so go down here this is the place that 20 what 20th you can see so this is the atomic number this is the atomic symbols so this is the x y z coordinates so this is the net charge no no sorry this is that x y z this is the net charge so the this will slightly went that uh, left side no need there is no problem just you can see this atomic number atomic symbols x y z so this is the net charge so you can see this is the 0 0.3536 is the atom one charge so atom two charges minus 0 0.17 is around 18 so this is the atom two atom three charge so to know that one just go to your gauss view so this is actually atom one so this is the one this is the charges is 0 0.36 so this is the atom two this is the atom two so if you if you keep this you will see here um, in the lips lips the corner of this one you will see the number two so see, see so you can see here o2 o2 means number two atom so you can click here o1 you will see o1 o is there now this is the one o1 number one atom so this is the atom three atom so this is the things so this uh, two atom uh, process minus 0 0.18 charges this is actually 0 0.36 charge so that's all so likewise you can open your that even uh, tempered or net atomic charges file you can find your uh, charges of your system so this is also charges of our system so it's good to see here so that's all now i will tell you that um, bond orders so go to your folder so you can see the tempered bond orders open so here you can see the So they mentioned see the sum of the bond orders of each atom of the unit cell are listed above. This is the actually non-periodic system or system. This is the O, o molecule O1, O2, O3. This is the um, X, Y, Z coordinates. This is the sum of SBO. They will tell call SBO sum of at bond orders. This is the one. So I will tell you how to get the sum of bond orders and also actual bond orders. So first we will see the bond order of atom one so i i already told that atom one so atom one is this one this is the atom one center one is atom one so we have to see the bond order of atom one so bond order of atom one is 1.44 
1.44 because that O atom uh, connected to so this O atom connected to O2 and O3 so the this atom bond order is 1.45 this is the 1.44 is the 1.45 is the bond order of so this uh, O1 connected to this uh, this bond order and also this bond order so second one is so number atom two bond orders atom two bond orders I will tell you that one so atom two bond order is 1.44 so atom 2 connected to atom 1 so that is 1.45 so and also atom 1 connected to atom 3 you can see this the atom this the atom 1 this connected to atom uh, this atom 2 this atom 2 connected to atom 1 and also atom 3 so this is 1.45 bond order this is 0 0.09 bond order of this one so likewise atom atom 3 connected to atom 1 and also atom 2 so if you click this uh, C atom third one so this atom uh, 3 is connected to atom 1 that bond order is 1.45 so second one is 0 0.09 so the sum of bond order you can see also here also they mentioned they will add these two bond orders to get the atom 3 sum of bond orders likewise if you see atom 2 the sum of bond order also 1.54 so here sum of bond order is 2.89 so if you compare this bond order with the tutorial one also this match very well so i will show you that uh, examples uh, what they presented this calculation so if you go down examples to run so you can see this the Gaussian wave function this one so if you see here you can see that atomic charges also the same only I will show you the bond order now so you can see the bond order also 2.89 uh, 1.544 1.544 our uh, bond order also 2.89 1.54 1.544 and also net atomic charges also similarly we have got so this is the our calculated one 0 0.35 this is that they calculated one 0 0.35 1. Uh, 0 0.17 0 0.17 so ours also minus 0 0.17 and minus 0 0.17 so so what we they calculated our calculation also matched very well so if anyone want to do this kind of calculation you can uh, carry out using uh, this charge mode uh, software to get this uh, charge and bond order analysis so i will share this uh, in input output file for you so you can uh, use it for your research purpose so if you like my so if you like my content please like subscribe comment and share and also please click the bell icon for future video update so thank you thank you for watching enjoy